Hello all. Well, our planet is quickly racing to a fascism. I guess this is all part of the environmental disaster that's coming. We are quickly, here in the U.S., going to turn into a fascist country if the orange winds and uh, France and all the other countries that are now quickly putting in the right wing to uh, control what happens in their country. But let's just look at the environmental aspect of all this mess that we're seeing around the world. But let's just uh, pay attention to what's happening here in the U.S. and then we'll go around the world. Absurd Trump appointed judge blocks Biden LNG pause. Now if you remember, Biden paused the LNG plants that are going to be built in Louisiana and other parts of the country. This would be a very big disaster because of the extreme amount of CO2 that would be put into the air and methane from these plants. Well now this judge has blocked Biden's pause even though Biden now has according to the uh, to the Supreme Court has the ability to, to unblock the block because he has complete immunity and can do whatever he wants. The Trump judges are hell-bent on torching the environmental safeguard of the U.S. and the world. This will stop the federal government from taking action against the worsening climate emergency that is happening. They are hell-bent on maximizing the profits at any cost. Regardless, they're in air conditioning. They don't really care what happens to the environment, and they're making that perfectly clear. Money over anything else is what's important. So, what's happening this summer so far? Just in a, just in a few short weeks, look at all what's happening. At least 1,301 people died during Saudi Arabia's Jihad march, which uh, they do every year. And um, they say in Saudi Arabia it was mostly pilgrims. That makes it okay. They died from extreme heat wave, an extreme heat wave that's happening in Saudi Arabia at this moment as well as in the U.S. Temperatures at 50 degrees C or 122 degrees Fahrenheit is what killed all these people in Saudi Arabia. Now, here in the U.S., we've seen a heat wave go from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast and cause dramatic heat throughout the U.S. Right now, it's here in California. We're sweltering. We're seeing 100, 110, 112 degrees in some places. Let's look at the map here in, the, in uh, California of what's happening with this heat wave starting yesterday, today, tomorrow, and as far as we can see it in the future, we will have extreme temperatures. It's off the charts, but it's going to continue. And I said this years ago, I said, you know, the, the further we get into this disaster, the more heat waves we're going to see. Yeah, June now is seeing large amounts of heat all over the globe and will continue. But, and with that, this is going to be a short uh, video because I have to, uh, I'm back doing uh, physical therapy, getting ready for surgery on my shoulders. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, you know, I don't know what to say. There's not much we can do about this other than get this weak Biden presidency to do something now that he's given all this power. Do what needs to be done to get rid of this fascism and this this direct threat on our environment. It's 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 gotten to the point where more action is needed. Far more action that is being than in, than is being taken. We're we're taking baby steps when we should be taking giant steps. It's not just uh, immunity that's happening. It's all over the world and people had better start waking up to what's happening on the planet or they'll wake up and then die from excessive heat and uh, wet bulb temperatures. If you don't know what wet bulb temperatures are, it's a good thing to look up because it's coming and it's probably gonna start this year and uh, continue on year after year worse will get worse and worse every single year. It's not going to get better and better. So with that, I appreciate any comments you have, any ups, any new subscribers, and until next time.